There are many ways to seamlessly integrate Jira and Confluence together, creating a better synergy of shared information between the two applications. In this video, you'll learn how to create charts and report pages in Confluence that provide insight into Jira projects. The Jira Report Blueprint enables you to create report pages in Confluence that provide useful information about the status and health of Jira projects. This provides a convenient way for Confluence users to get up-to-date information about projects in Jira. We'll begin by creating a new Confluence page using the Jira Report Blueprint. Select Status Report as the report type and select the project you want to report on. Give the report page a title and click Create. The Blueprint automatically creates a pre-configured status report page that contains charts and information pertaining to the JIRA project. The Issues link that's included at the top of the page is implemented using the JIRA Issue Filter macro. Here, we see the JQL query in the macro simply returns all issues in the target project. Scrolling down the page reveals a series of charts based on various project fields, such as priority, issue type, and others. When you publish the page, you can see that the report blueprint actually created two pages. One is the page we were just editing, and the other, simply called Jira Reports, is an index page with links to all report pages in the space that were created using the report blueprint. Let's continue by creating a new status report page that focuses on a particular epic in our project. You can do this simply by clicking Add Jira Report on the Report Index page. Again, select Status Report for the report type and select the project you want to report on. But this time, click the Switch to Advanced link to change the focus of the report. Enter a JQL query that targets a specific epic then provide a title for the page. Once again, a pre-configured status report page is created for you. This time, the issues link reflects the epic query you entered, which returns only the issues that belong to the epic. Now, if we look at the Jira Reports Index page, we can see that our new epic status report has been added to the report list. In the sidebar, the new status report is shown as a child of the index page. To help keep your reports pages organized, you may want to group all your report pages together under the index page. The status report pages generated by the Blueprint contain several pie chart reports, but using the Jira Report Blueprint isn't the only way to include pie charts on a Confluence page. Let's quickly add our own pie chart to a new Confluence page. Create a new page and insert the Jira Charts macro. Make sure Pie Chart is selected as the chart type and enter a query that returns issues from a project. The preview shows what your chart will look like. By default, the chart reports on issue type. Click Display Options to have the chart report on a different field. You can select any field associated with a JIRA issue. We'll pick Status. Click Insert to view the chart in your Confluence page. You can use the JIRA Charts macro to enter any number of charts on your own Confluence pages. Let's quickly recap what we covered in this video. We use the JIRA Report Blueprint to create a status report page for a project and a status report page for an epic. We also use the Jira Charts macro to insert a pie chart onto our own Confluence page. To learn more about this topic, enroll in the Jira and Confluence Together on Demand course at Atlassian University.